Ethiopia. He's an artist in residency at the AHA Center, which is just right across here. And the title of his exhibit is Sight Unseen. Jacken? All right, um, so my project titled Sight Unseen. Uh, one of the questions that I have uh, for myself while doing this project was, how do you uh, tell a story that happened almost about 100 years ago? Um, especially visually, how do you do that? Um, that is a question that I have been interested in answering in uh, Sight Unseen. So, to begin that, I had to begin this project by focusing on Sanpai Peel. Sanpai Peel, for those of you that are not familiar with the uh, Tulsa history, is the place where the uh, last stand for African Americans were was as they were uh, uh, going through the uh, 1921 race riot. Also, it was the witness to what happened in 1921 to the uh, black community. So, this is a best place for me to begin the story that happened about 100 or so years ago, uh, 93 years ago. And I am taken back to where the end of the 1921 race riot was as my starting point for the project Sight Unseen. So, uh, okay, perfect. So the first, the first thing that I wanted to do is that talk about how the land then speaks to us, right? So if, uh, the only thing that is constant that we have in Tulsa uh, so far is the land. How does the land, if it was allowed to speak, would tell us the stories of the race riot, not only just the race riot, but everything that existed prior to that? Not only that, but how does it talk about what's going on today within the culture that we do live in? So for me, some of the reoccurring thoughts were the invisibility of the black community within the big picture of Tulsa. So because of that, I'm trying to use this poetic representation of the land as uh, both spiritual and some sort of memory, a memorial space to reflect and to imagine, A, the life that may have been out uh, around that area, and then B, the livelihood that people practiced, the type of conversations that could have been uh, uttered around that environment. It doesn't, it's not only subjected to the black community, it is for every person that is living in that part of the, the, the area. So the land was uh, the, 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 the most important reminder that becomes this constant witness. Okay, perfect. So the next item then I wanted to talk about was that the domestic items. These are the embodiment of the black community that existed back in the uh, 1920s through the 30s. Again, it is that representation of the, uh, the black people and their, uh, so to speak, their uh, memories, uh, their spiritual uh, and their remains are embodied within this uh, domestic item. So, in a, in a way, these domestic items become this uh, unspoken, faded glory of the uh, black community. Not only that, but it also represents the resilience uh, of the black community and uh, uh, what actually put them on the map of the black uh, Wall Street or the Greenwood community. Again, majority of the work then that I'm doing is as a metaphor and also uh, as the the uh, unspoken, uh, the unspoken uh, remembrance of the people that have been existing in the uh, north part of uh, Tulsa. 
So while this is going on, then I'm going to go to my, my next uh, point. Um, so as a photographer, not knowing and not wanting to take some sort of sides, whether you're black or, 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 or white, it is this desire to, to basically sift through what I could possibly see that is in the north part of Tulsa. And then this became the kind of stage to begin the uh, practical, pra the practice of relating or the calling of people into participating in telling their own stories. So moving on, I just the reason that I'm just keeping quiet is that so that that these images will become the sound of the images and the remains of the people that have lived in this part of the the, uh, the uh, Tulsa community that today seems to be so to speak uh, absence, but then yet there is some sort of presence within that. So. The second part of the project then is dealing uh, with this idea of portraits. The portraits then are my interaction with the people or within the community that reside within the context of North Tulsa. Um, the conversation then lead into some sort of proof that I was with this individual or I was with this uh, uh, different parts of the Tulsa community. and. How are they uh, becoming the uh, big uh, part of uh, Tulsa, uh, Tulsa's community? So this becomes then the extension to the contemporary representation in the absence and the presence of the, uh, the site that is unseen. So within this uh, portraits, I offer the opportunity uh, for the persons that are being photographed to present not only what I try to convey, but their own stories. So these portraits usually uh, are accompanied with some uh, narration on how they are making sense of their, their, their space within the site that is unseen. So I am going to go ahead and extend a, 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 an opportunity to anybody that is in here to partner, to participate within the next stages of the project that is sight and seeing and sharing your, your thoughts, your, 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 your thoughts. And I thank you for your time.